this is an endless stairway. Oh my god. Oh, that's really cool. Jump. Okay. You really just gonna do it? Oh, I can actually look around while I'm falling. Oh, that's cool. I see rooms, couches. I think maybe people? Maybe? In a bed? I'm not sure if those are people. Okay, that was a really cool set piece. I love that. <laughs> Just a single chair. Thanks. At least I'm comfortable. Okay, there's a bunch of lights going in three different directions. One, two, three. Yeah, three different directions. I'm assuming I should probably stick to the light. Well, light, you know, where there would be light. Potentially there will be at some point. Okay, I'm not having much luck here finding a second point. Do I just run out into the darkness? I've already been to all three. I don't see any other point of... Uh, any other light fixtures from there that aren't just the other ones. Alright, I'm just going out into the darkness then. Guess I'll go around the whole outside? Right, I just went around the entire parameter. Parameter? Perimeter. And then a bunch of the inside I just ran around just to find this place. Even though there's a light here and you think you'd be able to see it in the center of the room, it just... There isn't much of a view distance, so if you're far away you just can't see the light at all. I must be missing something. Oh, wait a sec, I think I might have found it. This is, uh, near this place? Where we started? There's some stuff on the ground. I think maybe I'm supposed to follow the stuff on the ground. Ah. Thank God. Oh. Hmm. I think we're enough to run. Looks like people are tied up. I'm trying to talk through gags. Go down. Oh, maybe they all go down. 
Okay. The monsters have changed a little bit. Very, very, very little bit. Some of them are all like... I don't even know how to describe it. They're kind of like... Uh, it's sort of like they're breaking apart in a very weird way. Not like decaying, but... Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. They look sort of abstract, I guess. Some of them. Just a little bit, though. Nothing too extreme. If you just glance at them, they look pretty much the same. all messed up. Now we're on the ceiling. Oh, now we're back to this room. This time there's no snow on the TV. It's a bigger room. Some very Silent Hill stuff now, always going down, never up. That's weird. I can't go there. It's like an invisible barrier and it looks like the flashlight shows me where it is. Is this a maze? I think it is a maze. Some of the doors are icy. I think I always need to go towards the icy door. But this one's icy. Get out of my way! Looks like it's getting icier and icier.
Cheryl. This is your room. But you're not in it. You know, I think we're getting somewhere. We're all tied up in this marriage thing. Marriage worked a lot better when we didn't live so long. We have phrases like the honeymoon is over to remind us how quickly marriages sour. You think I'm being cynical? Divorce does that to you. Come on, you think marriage can really last? Should a couple stay together for the kids? Do you think it's a bad idea to marry young? You think sex becomes stale after marriage? You know what? You being such an expert on marriage, you're going to ace my matchmaker test. On the table are six pictures. All you have to do is sort them into three married couples. Okay. Um, well, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this as gay as possible. You. And you. You. And you. And then these two, you could assume that they're straight, but I'm, I'm gonna say this is a trans woman. So they're actually all gay. All finished. Okay, now tell me which of those couples are still together. <laughs> I'm joking. You know I'm just trying to provoke you, right? Oh, let's keep going. We're really making progress here. New idea. What if that Exhibit A, the bloody knife, was, of course, from Harry. I mean, that's a pretty natural assumption that it's probably about us. But, I mean, it could be somebody else, but it's probably us. We probably killed somebody. What if they killed the therapist because there's such an annoying fuck maybe at the end of this therapy session we stab him that'd be pretty satisfying harry harry were you dreaming are you okay what are you doing here this place is your home right i saw the photos of you in the corridor you and your family Cheryl isn't here. I'm sorry. The woman said Cheryl was at the lighthouse. The lighthouse closed down years ago. No, I need to go there. John and I can drive you there. We'll take the lake road. Thank you. So you're Harry. John. Well, don't mind me. I'm sure you two have lots of catching up to do. John, don't be silly. Nice car you got, John. I always wanted one of these. But when Cheryl was born, we graduated to the family car club. Trunk space wins out over engine size. I'd swap the car for a family any day. Though I'm happy enough with just John for now. Cut it out, Michelle. Huh? It's embarrassing. Uh, I'm not embarrassed. Don't mind me. This isn't how I wanted things to go. It's not Harry's fault. I Nothing mean... to do with Harry. I mean this. Us. I wanted to make things clear. I wanted to do things right. What are you saying? This reunion, this weekend. I wanted to come see you to talk things through. Talk? About our relationship? 
Michelle, there is no relationship. Please, don't do this. Not now. Just... If not now, when? Where? Christ, Michelle, I've been trying to do this for months, but you don't want to hear it. Now we have a witness, maybe you'll listen. You're just tired. No, you're not thinking right. It's been too long since we've been together. No. No, Michelle. I was hoping to do this right, but I need to do it. We've been running on empty for a long time. Living on fumes. It isn't a relationship, it's a courtesy. If I still love you, it can't be over. It is! You don't love me. You love the John in your head. Please. I can't listen to this. I can't do this anymore. Can I have your card, John? John! Oh, they're never coming back. Just like Sybil. I guess I could leave the car if I wanted to. It's not locked or anything. Let's check out the front first. Ooh. Poetry as precise as geometry. Everything one invents is true. Let's get out. New Waypoint, Lighthouse Cove. Nowhere else to go. Storm drain number 14, unauthorized access, restricted area, authorized personnel only, etc., etc. Where are we exactly? Are we close to the lighthouse? Uh... I can't go more to the right. I'm not sure where the lighthouse actually is. Oh. It's all the way over there? And we're all the way here? Are we gonna go through some massive, like, tunnel under the Toluca Lake? Is that a thing? Would they make a tunnel under a lake? I don't think it's going to let me just try to follow them. Yeah, there's a snow barrier. Don't drink, not potable water. Yeah, <laughs> goes without saying. Don't drink water from the sewers. You know, this is the third Silent Hill that I've played and it's the third Silent Hill with a sewer level. They've all had sewer levels. Dahlia. Sorry about last night. I guess I scared you off. I don't think that echoey footstep sound, like the, the reverb, sounds very good. Like, it doesn't sound accurate. Um, but it definitely 
does work for the effect of giving this place a, a big a big sense of scale, making me feel small. Cheryl. Cheryl. No, sweetie, it's I. Not safe. Please don't go. Uh. It's a trap. You know, I was watching a stream of somebody play Silent Hill 2 just a couple days ago. Actually, yesterday, I think. And one of the viewers said something that I liked. I don't remember their exact words, but to paraphrase it, they talked about the role of Silent Hill. Like, what is the, the town? It's obviously not a normal town. All the weird stuff that happens isn't just because of the cult or something. There's obviously something about this town. And they said that one idea they had is that Silent Hill is sort of a, uh, a carnivorous flower that feeds upon people's pain and misery. And I like that idea. That fits with what we've seen. Like, it just seems to take... It, it seems to eat people who are sad and miserable. And it takes the things that they're sad and miserable about and makes them sort of real and puts them in the world and fragments them all over the place. Like it's feeding off the torment or something. Ew. Oh, it's alive. Oh, God. A happy bond. Okay. Sorry, fish. Do I have a map for here? No, and we are under the water. Wow. King's Ice Beer. I think we saw that at the beginning of the game, right? That's the stuff with the, uh, like, neon yellow bottles. Oh, this is the Indian Runner. Yeah, it was a general store from the first game. You know, totally... Not racist. <laughs> Memories untaken. Oh, it's a little, uh, disposable camera. Hold on, what's that say on the back? Stop jiggling. Capture the fun memories to keep forever.
lakefront souvenirs. Schooner Mar of people. Miranda sailed from the shore. I sailed from this shore on November 14th, 1869, capsized in the winter storms. She was lost with all hands. This plaque is dedicated to their memory. Memory? Day trippers. Here, finally. Mm. It doesn't change the best. Oh my god. Have you seen the list? Come on, let's go. Got the right idea. Just go with the flow. We're on vacation. Hey, wait up! Toluca Lake. Almost one million years ago, glaciers 6,000 feet thick covered most of the eastern coast of the United States. As these gigantic ice formations clawed their way across the continent, they gouged huge holes in the earth. The melting ice filled these with water and created the great lakes that we know today. The first Europeans to see Lake Toluca were German traders and explorers in the 1600s. It was Jens Heinrich. 1567 to 1635, who first mapped the lake and surrounding area, calling it Barensi. It was later named Lake of the Foul Water, or Lake of the Puants, after the people who occupied its shores. Okay, where should I go? That was blocked. I think I should look at the map. Wait, there's a door here? That's probably how I get around the blockade. Oh no, is that Lakeside Amusement Park? If it is, it's a lot smaller than I remember. Let's head into the Coho Bistro? No, this? Whatever this place is. Souvenirs? A beacon, a key. Oh, that's, a, that's really pretty. It's a cute little lighthouse with a ring on a chain. Looks like it has a miniature light bulb in it. I wonder if it actually turns on. Yeah, I found the door. How did I do it? Cause I'm Harry Mason. No fishing allowed. Ooh, can I... Yeah, I can use this. I hope I don't need to put a coin in it. What was that noise? Whoa. Oh. Okay. Your diamond heart. Journeys end in lovers' meeting. I wanted to actually look through it. It was just a weird puzzle. Discover natural wonders. All our cures are currently suspended due to the weather. This includes our Toluca party crew. At this time, we cannot refund ticket holders. Sorry, but the weather is outside of our control. We 
can't refund? What? That's ridiculous. Uh, oh, that's the same number, actually. 